Welcome everyone. Um, it is a great honor to have Terry Hughes here from Australia. He's the director of the Center of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies in Australia. Um, as Ingrid sent in her email this morning, he is al also the most cited coral reef scientist in the world. Well, that's not interesting, but it's interesting, of course, why he is why he is cited. Um, he has been working a lot on biology, ecology of uh, of corals, and that is uh, that that work has uh, also uh, gone in the direction of asking the question: What determines the stability of of reefs? Can they can systems can reef systems collapse? Well, that happened in the in the Caribbean, where uh, Terry has been working for a long time. So I, you told me once that that uh, was a that that shaped your like your thoughts about reefs. That such a imagine you since your PhD you're working on a beautiful ecosystem and then at some point it uh, it goes down the drain. It becomes uh, covered by uh, by seaweeds. So from that uh, moment on, also a lot, of, a lot of his work has been focused on trying to understand what determines whether these really complex systems are actually resilient, stable, or can they become brittle? And from that, he has also wandered into trying to understand the, the humans that are using the ecosystems. And now, not only focusing on coral reefs, but actually marine systems around the world. And Terry is running uh, a series of workshops in different places where he brings a group of diverse thinkers together and brings them to a place, for instance, the coast of Chile, to work with the people, the biologists and sociologists there, on understanding what determines the, the sustainability or unsustainability of that fisheries. Another example was a, a workshop uh, in the Galapagos, another one in Maine, where there was a, a lobster fishery, and uh, several other examples. And those workshops, to me, have been very inspiring, uh, especially also uh, the concept of such a workshop in which